You get a unity tree! You get a unity tree! Everybody gets a unity tree! Hey guys, welcome back to Monster Monday. The last Monster Monday was quite an action-packed episode, so I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Shout out to Sieber on Twitter who made this video about it. Just a fair warning to you guys, you can have too much gobbledygourd, so stay safe. All right, I'll always moderate your gobbledygourd intake. All right, guys, uh, we're back on Ethereal Island here because a couple of people had comments about that, so I figured I would uh, read some comments and see what you want. The full song on Ethereal Island is amazing. The same goes for Wublin Island. And I can't wait to see the stream. Keep up the great work, Matt. Well, thank you very much. Um, we will, of course, at some point get all the uh, monsters on this island, guys. Probably not going to focus on it today, though. But I will say, when it comes to Wublin Island, I definitely want to get all the rares of, you know, at least most of the rares for, like, the... Uh, two and three elements because then you can just breed them together and you guarantee, you know, the same monster that you bred. And then you can just send it over to Wublin Island and you don't have to worry about getting the wrong thing. So I feel like that is, uh, you know, a pretty important prerequisite to me trying to complete Wublin Island, which we'll still probably do in a stream. We won't complete it in a stream, we'll do some more of it. It's a, it's a big island, man. There's a lot to do there. Same with Celestial. I'm never gonna finish those. Matt, the socks on Ethereal Island sounds really good and brings a lot of the song together. Also, the Sugarbush Island has a really good song and lore. Noted. We'll do some Sugarbush today, guys, and we'll also try maybe to get the socks. Let me see what I gotta do for that. If you guys are ever like, why isn't Matt doing what I want? Why is he, why is he reading these comments? Most of the time I'm reading these comments because I, uh, I see them first. They're on the top, they got the most likes on them. So if you see a comment you like and you uh, want me to include it in the video, hit the like button on it. Very simple. And hit the like button on this video too, obviously. Thank you guys for all your support. It means a lot. Okay, who are we looking for here? Socks. Oh, look at that. It's some sort of fox. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. It rhymes with fox. According to monster lore, the ancestors of the socks were self-conscious of the gaping holes in their tails. Well, that's kind of weird. Over time, it was discovered that eating precious stones spurred the growth of peculiar metal pads over the holes. Quite by accident, Soxes learned they could use them along with their tube-like snouts to create smooth musical riffs. The age-old mystery of what does a sock say has now been solved. Pretty sure the sock says ding 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 ding. At least that's what Elvis told me. So it must be true, right? That's a blast from the past, guys. Oh my gosh, how long ago? was that popular. That was such a weird time in the world. Things were simpler then. I really like voodoo as well, guys. Look at him. He's like a voodoo. He's like a, like a witch doctor type of thing. Kind of reminds me of the witch doctor in a way from, um, from Terraria. But that's not important. We gotta get the socks. We gotta put our socks on. So that's Ghast and the Geode. There we are. Alora and Shardley, go! That's not it. That's just a guest. I gotta light my torches, guys. I always forget to do that. Thank you for lighting my torches. Okay, I know I said I gotta light them, but I just gotta click on the icon that shows that you guys lit them for me. You wanna do the rest of my job too? Do you wanna record these videos? Huh? No? Fine, I'll do it. Probably the best part of the job, to be honest. <laughs> oh, 32. We got the socks. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. That was my third attempt, I believe. Crack it open! Let's go! Wow, I discovered socks! <laughs> this will keep your feet warm. Oh my god, guys, it's called Wapa Pow. It's called Wapa Pow! Because what does the fox say? Wapa Pow 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 Pow! Oh! It's a, it's a saxophone! It's a saxophone! I did not see that coming. I Maybe I should have saw it coming, guys. I thought these were like these little things sticking off here. I thought they were like. You know, little handles so you could pull them out. No, those are the flaps on a saxophone. Okay. Well, this was fun. This was a good time. I got some goals. Okay. Yay. 
Matt, get the dipsters on Ethereal Island. The melody is quite good. You'll forget your hate for dipsters for a moment and say, this is not that bad. <laughs> Very specific. You got it. You set the bar so high. Not bad. Do re mi fa so la ti. I always thought it was fa so la ti. The L seems to be like kind of not needed because there's already an L. Speaking of L's, I'm about to take an L by putting dipsters on my island. I always make the same mistake. Get out of here! I wish I could skip it, guys. Another another point lost for the dipsters because you can't skip their placement. You gotta watch it happen. I've placed all the dipsters, and I gotta say, this is not bad. Is that what, uh, yeah, th this is not bad. I'll tell you why, okay? Just gotta wait from the cut in again first. I don't, I don't find that it's as intense, okay? Because some of the islands, the dipsters are just like too intense. We did it, we put dipsters on this island. You guys keep convincing me to put dipsters on my islands. You should probably stop, okay? It gets worse, guys, okay? And then it gets worse again, but here's, here's the worst part. Nobody tell Matt that one of the wobblins is literally a giant dipster. I gotta, I gotta see this, guys. I, I gotta see this. There's a lot of, uh, Incomplete wubblins here guys. Oh, just a just a solid 2,000 uh, Diamonds and I could have this like come on this thing is a pixel art. That's not gonna be a, that, that, that's that's not a dipster So it would have to be mulch fleech worm Creepuscule one of those three I guess I don't know man I'm not looking forward to it though guys. I don't need a giant dipster and actually did you know that all the dipsters are technically giants? You're not gonna believe this guys, okay? And before I, before I even show you anymore, I just gotta say, the My Singing Monsters social media team needs to stop right now. Quit while you're behind. I'm just gonna go somewhere else, guys, to clear my mind a little bit, because this place is very chill. And I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, honestly, guys, I just, I, I'm, I'm shook, okay? And I, you should be too. Some of you may have stumbled upon the first known images of the dipster do's full anatomy last week on our Instagram page. And then a little hole emoji, I guess. We're happy to share with you the monster biologist's latest findings. I wonder what the rest of the dipsters look like underground. What? Say again! Well, I thought they were just little the things. Yeah, you know, I thought they were just the, the, the. I thought that was it. They were just a little, uh, like maybe shaped like a carrot or something. You know, I didn't think most of them was underground. I didn't. I didn't think they were friggin' icebergs or something. Look at this. this. This one is like some sort of cat, I suppose. It's very cat-like. I don't know why it's holding on to a key, but I guess I mean you, you got to use keys to to get them. I don't like this. Okay, this this kind of kind of creeps me out. It's kind of like when you're in the ocean, you can't see what's underground. We don't know what's going on down there. And I was just assuming the answer was nothing. This one, this one's like some sort of like octopus type of thing. And that's holding on to some real goodies. There's a, there's a chest there, there's a key, there's a cupcake. <sighs> I don't, I don't want to see the rest, okay? So my same monsters don't, don't ruin, don't ruin the dipsters for me. Because trust me, they were ruined as soon as I got them. You were just making it worse. You were salting the wound. Stop doing that. I take back what I said though guys about the My Singing Monsters social media team because they got some bangers. Like look at this one. This is the uh, the distracted boyfriend meme recreated <laughs> in My Singing Monsters. And it's the uh, the the rare wall box, I believe. And it's dating a mammoth. And the mammoth is distracted by the new epic wall box. And also, the Monster Lisa, which is a fur corn replacing the Mona Lisa. We didn't need this. Guys, the whole dipster thing is honestly worse than the uh, the Doug Trio situation. You ever see that picture of the Doug Trio? Where it's like, it's three dudes huddled together underground. Now that, that's fan art, so at least it's not lore. But they straight up told us this is the lore. So I have a problem with that. Okay, let's go back to Wubblin Island now, guys, because there's a couple other comments about the wubblins that I want to read. We'll get it eventually. I feel like Matt will absolutely lose it once he finds out he has to box all of the wubblins to awaken the wubbox. I have to what? So each one of these has to be woken, woke, wait, wake, awakened twice? Once for the actual island and then once for the uh, the wubbox? Let me, let me see, let me, let me have a look here. What's it, okay, what are you doing to me? The wubbox. 
There it is. It's a bad. Stick it down, but like it's never gonna get woken anyway. It's never gonna get awakened anyway. You gotta you got put them all in there. That's gonna be a real party in there, guys. 22.8 thousand diamonds. I don't got that kind of diamonds. I got a lot of diamonds, but I don't got that kind of money. Okay, that's like being a millionaire. And then and, and you need to be a billionaire to do something. Guys, I, I don't know which one of these is supposed to be a dipster. You tell me down below in the comments. None of these, to me, seem very dipstery. Especially now that I know what a dipster actually is. All of the Wublins give off such a me and the boys vibe. You know, I, I gotta say you're very correct on that one, guys. You know the me and the boys meme? Me and the boys on our way to whatever. Some of these guys definitely, like, cause, cause me and the boys, that meme is just a bunch of really weird looking dudes, right? And you're a weird looking dude. So I get it. So there's a tip here for me, guys. Useless tip, apparently. Like the Wubbox, to wake up the rare Wubbox, you need to box all the rare monsters instead of common monsters. And the release of the new Epic Wubbox is the same as the rare and common Wubbox, but you need Epic monsters to wake up. That's gonna be tough. And also, it is it is out on the Steam version, guys. We are gonna take a look at that now, okay? It only costs one diamond, guys. And that's because, honestly, the hard part is filling this up. Okay, I don't know why the first Wubbox costs so much. I guess because it's not that hard to breed, you know, all the normal monsters. Nothing too crazy goes on in the normal one. But then you gotta get the rares and now you gotta get the epics. So this is this is just gonna be a treehouse for a very long time. <laughs> but there'll be a real party in there someday. Could it be? It is! It's the epic Wubbox. This is what happens when select cubic specimens are allowed to ripen in the underground vault where this species was first discovered. While still preserving its connection with the electricity element and acting like a neuron for its slumbering colossal, the powered down form of this monster has been affected by extended exposure to the ambient environment of its island home. We're anxious to discover what it looks like and sounds like, but a significant consequence of its elemental transformation is the selection of monsters required to power it up. Yeah, I get it. You gotta do the epics. Wow, an epic Wubox. It's a nice decoration, and that's all it's gonna be for a very long time anyway. So just 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 let it chill. Let it let it slumber. Move it over here. There you go. Enjoy it in all its glory, guys. That's the only glory you're gonna get. The epic of every monster on the island required to wake this up. Now the rare Wubox obviously not quite as difficult because you just need the rares. I don't have them all either. So, that's in a star shop, right? Yeah, so one star gets you a rare wall box. Unlike the common wall box, a rare can be bought for a song, as long as you're singing the right tune. What? Okay, 45 diamonds. Just, just incubate it. I don't think I plan on doing anything on this island anyway, guys, so just, just incubate. Now, I do want to go to Sugarbush Island today, guys. Um, I believe we need to send a fur corn there. No, a uh, uh, pot belly. Fur corn is a two element, right? I keep forgetting that. He's so small. I keep thinking he's a one element. Before we do that, guys, I want to try and get the epic rebro. I don't even have a regular rebro now, but I don't think you can get a regular rebro um, if you're trying to get an epic. Oh, look, this person's name is Matt is amazing. That's great. What about, what about this guy? What? Please let me join your gout. No, <laughs> I think I already read that before. <laughs> it's the same people who keep coming back and light my torches. Thanks, guys. Okay, so we want to get this on uh, Air Island, guys. We need to combine the T-Rocks with the Pango. You can do it on Ethereal Island, but you need the Kazillion. And I don't have it yet, so let's not worry about it. Air Island, T-Rocks, Pango. It's going to take a long time, guys. Don't worry, I got time. Just, just, just let, let me slowly die trying. Oh, 26 diamonds. What's that? An epic rebro. Hey, oh, I'll crack it, guys. It's all good. Boom, look at that. Oh, that is uh, quite the rebro. Okay, so a couple of cool rebros here, guys. I like. So there's one more comment, guys. Matt, you should get unity trees on every island that you can get them on. That way you don't have to strategically place decorations and monsters also. Gobbly gobbly go! I haven't strategically placed much anyway, and that is definitely on my list. It's just one of those things you gotta open up the shop. You gotta go to the structures. You gotta find it. You gotta buy it. It's a million dollars, which is not a big deal. I can get one on each island, no problem. I just, you know, just haven't went through the trouble of actually doing it. Where are we putting our tree? Put it over there on the side. There we go. Wow, oh. That's kind of great. You know, it does make everyone happier because the chances are they'll at least go up 25% because everyone 
at least likes one other monster, right? Okay, Sugarbush Island, guys. This is actually my worst island, not including Celestial Island. This is the one I have the least amount of things on. It's just a couple of dudes, and even so, even though it's a couple of dudes, we got a nice little song going. They got a nice little jam, right? And uh, there's even singing, I believe, in this one because this is an actual song. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Uh, Love or Money, Monster Remix, Christian Bush, Jeff Cohen, Matt Thiessen. I hope it's not completely copyright, guys, because I'm a YouTuber and I don't want to get copyright claimed. I don't have a lot of space. I, I'll just go ahead and start this upgrade. I'll just speed it up later when I actually want it. So, um, I believe it's the pot belly. There's two. There's two single element monsters on this island. And then there's the uh, the double, the triple, and the quadru- Wait a minute. Okay, so we need to combine a quibble and a furcorn. We actually can't make those, can we? We can't make a quibble here. We don't have a- We don't have a single air. Huh. This one is weird. So that means we are gonna need, oh, even the pom-pom guys. We can't get a pom-pom because we don't have a rock to combine with the, uh, no, yeah, no, that's not gonna happen at all. So what can we do? We can do, we can do a fur corn. We can, we can breed a fur corn from the mammoth and the uh, pot belly. Let's just go grab a pot belly, get him to level 15, send him over. Okay, that's cool. We can take our mammoth and our pot belly and put them together. I'm just gonna get get them to level 10. Everybody gets level 10 because it makes you bigger. Wow! You get a unity tree. You get a unity tree. Everybody gets a unity tree. Okay, so now we can uh, combine. Wait a minute. We have to do level 15s on every other monster that's gonna be here. We can't combine them. Any other way, we have to send them over. Okay, well in that case, the sugar bush is gonna go with the pot belly now, so we can make something. That's not what I want, go away. You know guys, it's definitely gonna be worth it here now to have some torches, so let's get some torches. I assume it'll be worth it, even though a fail apparently only costs two, because all you can fail to, you know, if you fail, you just end up making a pot belly. But I will be doing other things today, so can we do it? 31 diamonds, that looks like it. Oh my god, the epic, the epic Deej is something else. What is he? Oh, oh, hey -o. Now we're getting somewhere. Well, I guess I gotta keep trying, because I'm trying to get something else. Here we go. 27, that's the one, guys, that should... I already got a sugar bush, what the heck? They don't tell you on the, uh, on the wiki that you can end up getting a sugar bush from a, uh, a breeding attempt. Then again, it doesn't tell you you get a pot belly either because you should know that you can get the original. That hurts though, guys, because if I keep doing that, I'm gonna be wasting lots of, uh, here we go, sugar base! Gonna be wasting a lot of diamonds trying to do that stuff. Here we go. I, I'm excited, guys. Okay. That's good. Everyone can use some base in their life. Okay. Now I think we should get one more, at least today, guys. It, uh, it'd be probably impossible for me to get them all today, even if I wanted to, because I have to upgrade so many things to level 15 and send them here. So let's go for a fur corn. All right, there he is. Brand new fur corn, guys, going on a big adventure today. Yes, he is. What's his name? Shookin! Well, you'll be shook, all right, bro. Go away. Go away. Go away. The other one's still singing. It's fine. <laughs> Look at that, guys. We got ourselves a fur corn on Sugarbush Island. Mm hmm. Very similar to what he does on, I think it's Plant Island. Okay, so let's go for one more, folks. Let's go for the uh, whatever, whatever's next. I don't know what's next. It's fine. We'll find out. It's a, uh, it's a two, a two element and a and a and a sugar bush. We haven't done a, a, a double element breeding. I don't know if that's gonna. What? Ah. You're wasting my diamonds, sugar bush. Try again. 27. There it is, sugar beats. Is that a uh, a drummer? Is the sugar beats a drummer? Yeah. Where do I put a drummer, man? I didn't prepare for a drummer. Everyone else kind of like fit in nicely. You know, I was trying to make a nice symmetrical type of thing. Maybe you can go down with the Deej. Oh, not enough beds for that guy. He's got to finish that upgrade. There we go. They always seem to put the drummer in the band. 
in the back. Okay, now it's a song, man. And what's that? Money for me. That's a hundred grand, man. The time it took me to click on that didn't even make it worth it. So who else is actually in this band, guys, before we wrap it up here? I want to see. So the guitar, banjo, whatever a buzz is, and a vox. There's a singer. Oh, I can't wait for the singer, guys. That's going to happen. And we got all these ones already. So it's the first four showing up here that we got to get. There's also a rare Deej. And uh, we got to get a regular Deej here. I suppose. Unless we can get a breeder rare Deej, then we wouldn't need him technically. But anyway, I don't know if we can. Do can we do that? Rare Deej. Oh, no, 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 we can't, guys. The only way to get a rare Deej is to uh, combine a sugar bush and a Deej. So they've made it. So the only way to do it is to get the, the, the normal natural monsters to level 15, send them here, then breed them with the sugar bush. Sugar bush got a big job, guys. He got to do all the breeding. Give the guys some credit here. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.